Watching the PWA footage this year has been amazing, and some of these jibes are just sublime. So, want a jibe like the pro? Let's have a look with some of my friends. So, how do you jibe like a pro? Well, it's all about board trim, ride height, sail control, the rig flip, body maneuvers, keeping up the speed, strategy, and we'll also go over some common errors. So I reached out to some of the pros on the PWA circuit and some of my local mates and got some good videos. Here's one of Blanca. She's one of the world's fastest foilers. So fast, in fact, we had to slow this video down just so we could see how she jibes. So here we see a great example where Blanca leans into the turn, the sail lent into the center of the arc. And then her body's quite forward, as you can see her face over the sail. She then opens the sail, leans it over outboard as she steps inboard on the new front foot, brings the sail way back past her shoulder, flips the rig, and then pulls it forward into the correct sailing position as quickly as possible. That action and sheeting in causes the cams to rotate. Then she'll put her back foot in, hook in, and sail away. And one other thing I've noticed by doing this project is that the faster you're going, the more you have to lean the sail back towards the back of the board when you do the rig flip. So here are some of the things we need to watch for. Obviously for a good jibe, you need speed. Enter as fast as you can, especially on the small wings. Ride height, enter mid height, balance it with feet, board angle and sail position. Everything affects ride height. Carve a nice wide arc, even on an aggressive jibe. And the sail, a smooth sweep forward, out and around, towards the back of the board, then pivot forward. And don't look at your feet when you step across the board. So let's have a look at one of Will's jibes in slow-mo. He's being chased by Jeff on an e-foil. As you can see, Will leans the sail right in, arcs it forward, pivots behind his shoulder and around, flips it where it is, then moves it forward. He's got very good control of the board, keeping the ride height pretty consistent. And then when he's on the new side, pumps a couple of times to get flying again. Fuck it hell. Pretty quick, young fella. Mechek sent me this nice ride-along video that he did a couple of years ago, and the helmet cam showing his hand movements really clearly. So hands back, rig flip with the hand at the front of the mast, grab the new boom and off you go. Beautiful sunny day, we should be having a barbecue. Instead, we're out here, two knots of wind. So what do you do? Well, practice your jibe timing. So, with your jibe, foot's in the strap, step over the board, lean the board into the rail. Now, you can start opening the sail early, but if you're going fast, you'll just push against the wind and slow yourself down. So sheet in a little bit, push the sail forward, lean into the turn, then open up as you step across, pull the sail behind your shoulder, flip it back in front of you, and there you go. Perfectly executed PWA style slalom race job. Now you try it. Now Boston caught this one of uh, Jared doing a nice job as well in fairly light winds up at New South Wales state titles. Leans in like normal but just watch how fast he flips that rig around. I'm going to have a look at that again in slow motion because it's really quite an important aspect of how you get the sail to rotate. So lean in, open early, open it fully, lean it right back, and then reef it across with your new front hand, pump away. And notice how he also flipped the rig before he was on the new angle. Now in this video, I was chasing Will on some prototype F4 foils, and note here, it's a little bit of an extra sheet in as he goes into the turn right now. That gives him the ability to avoid getting back winded as the sail rotates. So lean in, turn, a few pumps to get some speed up. And then just now sheets in a little bit, pushes the sail forwards to prevent it getting back winded, then opens it, steps across the board, leans the sail back, rotates it, pulls it across with the new front hand, bit of back pressure to keep the foil flying in the light winds, then pumps up. So you're blasting down at the local spot with a few of your mates and after practicing you feel confident 
So you find a mark, choose your line, and go around as smooth and fast as you can. Easy enough, especially in flat water. I love this procession, everyone just flipping around perfectly as they get downwind. Looks amazing. The PWA coverage of the women has been great. Here we've got three of the best coming in for a jibe, and just watch how consistent they all are. Everyone doing the exact same manoeuvres to get around as quickly as possible. And as we've seen, the foiling jibe doesn't really change much from large gear, like a 9 metre, small 400 front wing we need more speed so keep the sail in line with the board as I lean into the turn and then flip the 6-2 around as normal. There's not actually much difference between a fast small wing jibe and a slower big wing jibe. You might just need a bit more back foot pressure to keep the board up out of the water and stop those touchdowns. Watch how far back the boom goes on this jibe. Been talking about it a bit, bringing the rig behind you as you go through the slowest part of the jibe helps weight the back of the board, keep the nose up and help you ride through that slow point when you've got less lift from the foil. It's an important aspect of jibing at speed. In lighter winds and slower on a thousand wing, board movements are all the same, but the rig flip doesn't go as far back, more vertical over the board to help maintain balance and still using back foot pressure to keep the nose up when you need to. Thanks for that, Dave. Jenna Gibson's pilot should be awarded for getting these interesting angles with his drone. The jibe's pretty standard, but I watched her feet movement and she gets across the board in six frames or one fifth of a second. That kind of speed helps you get around the jibe fast and stable. But what happens when it all goes wrong? So here we have a couple of crashes to get us in the mood. Common errors, ride height, breaching and touchdowns. We can't see under the board, but here the foil clearly breaches Sending the nose down. And with a lack of balance, I go straight over the handlebars. But we don't always get to sail in flat waters like that. Often the PWA events have shown us there's quite a bit of swell, especially out the back. And here Goyard has to maintain his balance, dealing with some difficult chop and a few touchdowns. Now touchdowns are a lot safer than breaching, especially in flat water. So we often err on the side of caution. But with a little bit more back foot pressure, or bringing the rig further back. These little taps can be avoided, especially as the board slows down mid-turn. So what can you do mid-turn when you feel the board's getting a bit too high and you're about to breach? Keep the sail forward, push it forward a little bit more on straight arms. You can actually pull down on the boom, a lot of people forget that. Put pressure through the mast base with your hands. You can obviously push down with the front foot, but that's less effective. And perhaps more effective is using your feet to angle the board more. As we learnt in the speed video, keeping the board on its edge cuts the lift from the foil. And so doing the same through the turn might make the turn a bit tighter, but that's also another way to keep the nose down and help avoid any breaches. And don't step on the back of the board. Next up, we have a special guest. The Flying Gwen sent us some videos and his jibes are practice perfection. He rarely makes a mistake. Just watch his hand movements on the boom from this interesting angle with the camera mounted way up on the mast. Good images. Reaches right back first, opens the sail, then moves his front hand forward to help the sail rotate around the mast. Grabs the boom on the new side, quickly moves it into the right position and sails off elegantly. I had to go through about 10 of his jobs before I noticed any single mistake. Here's a rare touchdown. His back foot is a bit too far forward and that lack of back foot pressure drives the nose down for a small touchdown. But he manages it and sails away. But breaching is hard to manage. And it's not always your fault. Here's an example where Jenna gets accelerated by a swell and that burst of speed and upward lift from the wave drives the board up and over she goes. Just remember to always hold the boom when you crash. It's 
probably the safest place you can be away from the foils. Ben Prophet attributed this double wipeout to a freak gust mid PWA race. It's a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill. The difference between sailing away and wiping out. Now in tough conditions, small gear definitely helps. Here we see Goyard going at it again. He's taking a conservative wide line, managing his right height through the swells. Very importantly, just tapping down a little bit, but maintaining his speed and getting a good advantage. Ultimately finishing second. And sometimes you just don't know what goes wrong. You're out with mates, trying to show off, do a nice jibe, and then maybe the boom slips through your fingers. Grabbing the up hole is not going to help, and over you go. Geordie shared this nice jibe. 7 to 10 knots of wind, he said. He's riding his F4 620 foil on an 8.7 duotone prototype sail. But he makes a mistake. He gets the foil back winded after he flips manages to push through it. So straight arms, sails out in front, gives him a bit of room to manoeuvre and keeps the sail in line with the board to reduce the pressure of the back wind, angles the sail to the back of the board and manages to flip it around and carry on. He also keeps his body weight into the centre of the turn, keeping his body out of the way of the sail. Well, that's enough mistakes. Let's have a look at some good jibes in tricky conditions. Here, watch everybody as they ride the swell, picking their moment to rise and fall with the waves and come out fairly cleanly. So you're back out blasting with your mates again and they box you in. So what do you do? Well, if you've been practicing, trust yourself, take the inside line, make a clean jibe around, keep clear of the other riders and maybe you go from fourth to second. So there you have it, a detailed explanation of a fast foiling jibe. The key points, a fast entry, commit to the turn and lean in, sheet the sail in, move it forward, open it smoothly to the outside, back foot steps across the board, line up and straight into the foot strap when you rotate, quick dance around the board, bring the sail back behind your shoulder, further back the faster you go, Flip the rig quickly, pulling it forward with the new front arm. Get your back foot in the strap, hook in and sail away.